Hey, hey everybody, this is uh, Dave with d &E Performance. Um, this is our second tutorial on the uh, 6014 LS uh, MSD box. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, talk a little bit today on the uh, temperature uh, control and the uh, nitrous settings, which is the uh, step retard. Um, the step retard, it's going to be the pink wire that's coming off the harness and that is going to go into either a full throttle switch which is coming off of your intake or carburetor, I'm sorry, the intake uh, next to the carburetor and or it'll go into a nitrous button which uh, the nitrous button you have a little bit more control of. Um, full throttle switch uh, it's going to go into uh, of course the full throttle switch you're going to have to tee it in there somehow um, just make sure that on the instructions it's uh, very uh, specific about it having at least 12 volts um, to both of those uh, so that the box can recognize uh, that this is um, that hey I need to activate the, uh, the nitrous settings Okay, so let's uh, let's move on into the tutorial and uh, go ahead and open up our software. Let's see. Okay, no, we want we don't want to do that right now. All right, so we'll go to file, open. And we're going to open our uh, our file up, and um, we're going to go ahead and uh, I know this is on the uh, temperature side. We're going to go ahead and go to the step retard though. We'll start with our step retard um, settings or our nitrous settings. Uh, the first setting you have, and it, this format kind of looks exactly. Actually, it is exactly like the settings format. Um, so uh, the first one is a total retard so this is the total amount of timing that you want to pull off of your base timing map so I have this set to 10 degrees so 10 degrees is going to come off of uh, my base engine map under custom one so I have a total of 29.5, so 10 degrees off of this would end up being um, 19.5 degrees of total timing once I hit the button. So this setting here, you can pull out 10 degrees, you can pull out four, but uh, I think most of um, uh, manufacturers recommend for every uh, 100 horsepower you want to want to pull out about four degrees of timing so give or take uh, you can start somewhere in in the safe zone of five or six and then just tune from there in order to change these values um, just go ahead and click in the box backspace um let's see what did i say six degrees so six degrees and then just hit enter it's the same thing as the settings um your in your your minimum engine speed so this is going to be this setting is going to be where you where the box recognizes that your timing is needs to be pulled out so as you get to the 2500 RPM and you hit the button, your timing is going to come out. It also acts like a fail safe. So if you were to accidentally say hit the button or the, I mean, most likely not in any case, the full throttle switch is not going to be activated before this because that's usually a wide open throttle. But if you were on the button and you hit the button before 2500, it's not going to pull the timing out. Um, 
Anything below it, 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 it the box isn't going to see that. Anything above it, then your your timing is going to get activated. And then your uh, your ramp, your on ramp time. So this is the time that it where the box is actually going to pull the timing out. So instead of pulling all the timing out at once, it's um, it's going to delay the timing coming out. So it, you can set this to whatever quarter second, half second, full second, and that's how long as soon as you come on to the button that the timing is going to start ramping down or it's going to start pulling the, the, the timing out of your base map. So it'll take a half a second. Here we have it set to a half a second. It's going to take a half a second for the timing to come out of your base map. The um, off delay time. So as you come off the button and you're done spraying nitrous, this is going to be the delay time um, before it allows the timing to come back into the motor. So as you come off the button, uh, the timing is going to be delayed. It's going to stall for a second before it actually starts coming back into the map or yeah, back into the motor, or back come back onto your, your base engine timing map. Um, this uh, this kind of prevents, um, it actually cleans out the intake of any uh, residue nitrous, like if there's some nitrous that's still trapped in there, so you still have uh, a little bit of buildup in the intake, this will this will actually kind of clear it out slowly. Uh, moving on, your, your off ramp time, so this is the time that it's actually going to put the timing back into the motor after you were off the button. So both the off delay and your off ramp time are going to work coincide with each other. This, um, the off ramp, you can set this to zero to where it will just instantaneously, instantaneously put 10 you know degrees or six degrees or whatever you have set on your total retard back into the motor um, or you can set it to quarter second half second you know uh, one second whatever you want before it uh, puts the total timing back into the motor so this is uh, th these are really nice features um, the layout on on the 6014 box is absolutely much better. Um, very very happy and satisfied with um, the way the uh, uh, how easy the the to input all these um, values into this, and uh, the way you you even wire it in. It, it's fairly simple, especially on the harness. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to move on to the next uh, next part of this tutorial, and this is going to be the um, the temperature. Um, so the box has a built-in temperature um, setting and a temperature graph, and uh, you can use the stock temperature sensor on the side of the head. Um, there's a uh, I can't, I can't remember if it's a two or a three prong. I think it's a two prong. And it, it'll, it'll plug right into the uh, stock temperature sensor. Um, so this map is pretty much set up just like the engine speed map or your base timing map. Um, I've already kind of got this laid out, kind of showing you what uh, how the graph is probably going to be set up or how you can set it up. Um, You'll notice that uh, timing versus Celsius. So the bottom is in Celsius, and this, the left side of the map is um, your degrees of timing. 
anything below zero is going to be timing taken out anything above it is going to be adding timing into your base map so any changes made on this map are going to also affect your custom one engine speed map or whatever map you or I shouldn't say map but tables because the other ones are tables any tables that you have uh, set the box to um, so the nice the nice thing about this feature is if your motor starts to overheat you can literally uh, protect your investment by setting this map to where it pulls timing out drastically or it pulls timing out over a period of time before it shuts the motor down um, it goes all the way up to 15 degrees negative 15 degrees so I mean if you pull 15 degrees off of 29 degrees it's gonna pretty much kill your motor or it, it's not gonna run at all and it, that makes it it makes it really nice um, especially if you got you know a lot of money wrapped up into your LS um, it's pretty easy um, like I said um, it's going to be in degrees of Celsius and you can just move the cursor around to wherever you want to set it so you can either zero this out um, if you want if you if you feel more comfortable with it zeroed out um, zero it out and then pick a point on the graph um, I've got I've got this one set to uh, 95.1 which uh, it let's see here so on this see 95.1 so that's 203 degrees Fahrenheit um, that's pretty hot I usually don't like to see them more than about 195 a little bit under 200 and that's still kind of warm um, so what you can do is you can just plot a point on your graph and uh, you can you can pull you can take your your line and either and either s somewhat let's see if we can get this to where you guys can see this so you can kind of you can kind of take this line and and move it you know kind of take timing out gradually or you can take it all out at one time and just completely shut the motor down uh, which it which it will do uh, also it's got the it's got the tables just like on the side of the graph just like the uh, timing tables uh, so this is actually a very very good feature and I, I really do think um, it, it, if you buy the box to protect your investment definitely use this feature it's um if you don't use the feature I, you know if you're just getting the motor fired up on a, on a stand or in your project uh, you can you can just easily um, just leave it disconnected it, it will throw I'll tell you right now it will throw an error code so just ignore the error code until you get the the uh, get it hooked up but anyways uh, so as far as um, the this graph goes like I said it's a very very useful tool um, at startups if you're in a cold weather you can also adjust this up so it adds timing into your timing map uh, so that it will it will add timing to the map so as it as it warms up then you can take the timing out of it and then if it gets too hot you can pull the the timing out of it drastically or over a period of time um, just remember like I said it's in degrees or it's, I'm sorry it's in Celsius and not degrees so um, and in, in order to uh, if you don't know degrees in Celsius um, most people don't uh, go on Google do a Google search and and you, you can find one of these um, conversion 
uh, deals right here uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion table and you can set your map accordingly but uh, anyway um, this is Dave at uh, DE performance and uh, if you have any questions or um, I like feedback so go ahead and, and post anything at the bottom of the link or I'm sorry at the bottom of this video on how I can improve um, if you are interested in this product uh, this is 6014 uh, LS MSD box with the view software I will leave a link um, to my website I have these on my website and uh, like and subscribe um, please and I will hopefully get another video up here pretty soon um, the next one is is most likely gonna be on the we're gonna I think we're gonna go with the uh, turbo settings which is gonna be your uh, your KPA map or your map so we'll do that one and then we'll go into some of these other um, timing tables just as far as the custom 2, custom 3, and custom 4. Um, so if we can get this to pull up. We'll probably get into these, uh, these tables here. Um, and uh, kind of discuss this a little bit. It'll most likely be just you know I'm not going to get into any theoretical you know how to t completely set this map up all it's going to be is just how to change the values and then how to rotate rotate this around uh, your 3d uh, um, table because uh, this uh, it makes it easier this coincides with this and then and then it makes it easier to tune that but anyways, um, anyways, like I said, this is Dave with uh, DNE Performance, and uh, uh, like, subscribe, uh, give me some info and some feedback. I'm gonna leave some links at the bottom, and thank you.